Well, hello there, party people. How we doing? We're doing a little cooking video. I had an amazing brainstorm this morning. I slow cooked some steaks, and while they were in the crock pot, um, I'd make like a little like brew for them and stuff. I think I've shown that before in a video. And uh, I was kind of brainstorming on different things to do with the uh, steak. And I found that shredding it is really easy. You just put it in a mixing bowl, you get a couple forks, and then you can shred it like super, super easy. It just comes apart in like 10 seconds. It's really, really easy. So I took that and then I was brainstorming. And I was trying to think of like new, unique things to do with the meat. We've done uh, like mashed potatoes and veggies, put it over like a bed of mashed potatoes and put some gravy on top. It's really good. We did that a couple weeks in a row and that was really good. Um, and then we tried it in a burrito um, a couple weeks ago or last week, maybe it was. I can't remember, but it was really good. It was, it was fantastic. Um, and so I was kind of brainstorming. And then I was thinking today while I was playing some video games, I was like, I wonder what it'd be like in a grilled cheese sandwich. So this is what I got working. I'll take the lid off so you can see a little bit better. But I loaded up one side real good with the meat. And the cheese, we got some barbecue sauce underneath each slice of those cheese as well. We've got a timer set. Oh, just about to go off. Look at that. And uh, I'll just check it real quickly to see how it's doing, uh, to see if it's like toasting properly and everything like that. Just kind of check it periodically so it didn't start burning. Um, I don't like that flavor very much. So, um, but yeah, we're going to do that. Um, and then we also are going to do a s'mores taste test um, from the s'more maker machine that I got from Madison for Christmas. Um, so we're just kind of doing like a foodie video today. Probably be a little bit short, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So, but yeah, so that's basically how I made the grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't think we'll do any like veggies or anything like that. We'll probably just keep it really simple tonight. Um, but yeah, and then once they're all done, I'll turn the camera back on so we can do a little taste test and we'll let you know how it worked out. So if you guys want to try it at home, you can as well. So awesome. Well, we will reconvene momentarily. Thank you, everybody. Well, hello there, party people. How you doing? Our sandwiches are done. The grilled cheese, shredded steak sandwiches. So we will do a little photo op with each of them. Ooh, that one focused a little bit better. There we go. Okay. Try to set this up in a okay way. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. Let's give this guy a try. Ooh, look at all that meat. All that meat in there. Oh yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. That is... Wow. We make grilled cheeses with turkey, spicy chicken, meatloaf, uh, turkey burgers. I also make pizza ones too with oh, some yeah. um, marinara sauce, mozzarella, and pepperoni. It's really good. Um, probably eat. probably top three uh, right here. Maybe top two. Because I love the meatloaf grilled cheese sandwiches. They turn out just fantastic every time. I'll have to do that for you guys next time. I'll show you how I do it. Um, but this is fantastic. Highly suggest it. Go home and make it yourself. We're going to go ahead and polish these guys off. And then uh, once, we, time. once we get our appetite back, it'll be s'mores time. So then there'll be s'more footage. Okay, we'll see you here. <laughs> what? Do you think that's a good place? Good area? Yeah, it's good. great. It's a great angle. Oh, it's smoking. Is it? Already, yeah. Look, there. You see it? I do not. You don't? No. Not from that angle. Oh, you can see it in the camera. We gotta read the instructions first. I don't smell good.
Protect against electrical shock. Do not immerse cord, plugs, or state-specific part or parts in question in water or the liquid. Okay. Okay, here we go. Turn off so the smell would go away. Just while oh, you read that. Yeah. Well, it's a, it got hot really fast. That's fine. Put a warm up. Please allow for at least five to ten minutes for the appliance to preheat. Rotate frequently until the marshmallow gets a light brown or until desired results are achieved. Once ready, place the marshmallow on the chocolate bar and place another cracker on top, completing your s'more. Enjoy. What if I didn't want a s'more? I just wanted a roasted marshmallow. Yeah, Don't tell me what to do. Just Prongs and top covers should be hand washed. Not dishwasher safe. Cooking a marshmallow typically takes approximately two minutes. Do not overcook the marshmallow as it may melt and fall into the heating element. A little I mean, smoke is normal when you ferret. When you ferret, use the machine. Imagine making a typo in a machine that got sent out. <laughs> so I pay the proof for you people. Even your text messages. Oh, it's turning a little red. That's what the toaster smelled like when yeah, for starts, we first used it. Electronics always first start like that. So yeah, we're just letting it preheat for like five, ten minutes. We'll be back with you shortly. <laughs> oh that red glow coming for your smoke. Mm. 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 The little prongs. Look how cute they are. Yeah. They give you a little marshmallow roasters, little handle on there. Not dishwasher safe. These aren't even that sharp. Good. But they would hurt going into somebody's neck if they broke into my Marshmallows house, so. aren't that resistant to sharp points, so. I'm gonna stick this straight up my nose. It's looking pretty red to me. Dang. It's getting wild. So we got a little tray here on the side. We got graham crackers. We got chocolate up front right here. It's kind of cool. It's like all set up. It's neat. A little prop rod. This makes me want to go to the melting pot. Ah, oh, yes. This is like s'more fondue. No. Just waiting. Oh, it's getting red hot now. Take that fucker to security and cook food on it. Make my hands warm when oh, it's cold in here. Yeah, there we go. That's <laughs> not all bad. <laughs> I don't know why. That's kind of nice. Do you think people really don't know how to mar roast a marshmallow? That's why they had to put instructions in there? They have to put instructions on everything. They have to put warning labels on everything, too. I say we take them all off and survive all the fittest, let it all sort itself out. Natural selection. Yep. <sighs> Letting the beard go, people. Yep. Probably another month. Probably right around towards the end of February, I'm going to cut it off. And there, it's a video. And you guys will see. That. My beard's long enough, it'll make my mouth disappear. Mm. Oh. Hmm. I think it's been about. Yeah, that's hot. That's real warm. All right, so it says like pre set up. Oh. Your little cookie, your little sandwich. 
little s'more sandwich. Set that guy up so you can just take the hot marshmallow and just use a sandwich to pull it off the tongs real easy because it'll be all gooey. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Says it takes about two minutes. Checking in every four seconds. See, when I'm camping, I just set it on fire. A valid strategy. And then I eat the, the burnt part, and then I set it on fire again. So, I haven't watched the latest episode of Book of Boba Fett. They're on episode five. Read right online, that's a little bit of a filler episode, so I'm not super excited about watching it, but I'm going to watch it. So far, really enjoyed the series. It's really good. I've been a pretty avid Star Wars fan since I was a very young boy. And between The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett, I've had like 35, 36 year old questions getting asked. Like, what's a crate dragon? And who else in Mos Eisley? And how does the the huts like control everybody so well? And all that kind of stuff. So, ooh. And, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, look. I could set it on fire if I wanted to. I was wondering. So, it's been really cool. I've been really enjoying it. They've been showing more of the culture of the, the Tuscan Raiders. Um, and all that kind of stuff. I did catch a couple videos on YouTube that actually had um, the history of the Jawas. And the Sand People. And they're saying on there, at one time, it was, there were one race. Like, all together. Um, and they had a war against another race. And that warring race didn't really enjoy that very much so they bombed the planet to the point that it was all sand and glass and that's why Tatooine looks the way it was apparently it used to be covered in oceans there was a very aquatic very rich very amazing planet but they destroyed it so the Jawas and the sand people each went underground and hid until all the bombing and all the radi radiation went away and stuff. And when they came out, they had turned into two different races because they were underground for so long. Um, so the Jawas got adjusted to the light, so that's why they have those, those or the dark, excuse me, so that's why they have to have those goggles on to protect oh. their, ooh, oh, I touched the metal plate a little attention. bit. And, uh, yeah, so it's really interesting. Real, real interesting. Mine's gooey. It's starting to fall off the thing. It's getting gooey, gooey, gooey. It's like, like I can't. Gooey, gooey. No, it's falling off the thing. <laughs> Gotta hold it level. Hold it back at an angle so it'll fall like onto the stick instead of falling. No, it's gonna. Oh shit. Well. Oh well. Okay, it's gonna have to go on. That's just the way the marshmallow heats up, Chuckles. Can I lick it since I'm the only one using it? Well, you don't burn your tongue, but yeah. Oh, it's getting a little wobbly. Look at it. Don't let it fall on He's me. He's getting a little wobbly. Look at him. Ooh, he expanded a little bit, too. Mm. I'm gonna push the limit. Ooh, he's getting all of it. Right, right. <laughs> stressing me out. What? Oh, it didn't even get hot enough to really melt my chocolate. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is a s'mores. Fresh s'mores in January. All right. Let's dig in, party people. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's got a little... What? I got some... <laughs> we just showered, too. Oh, well. Mm. Those people out there that got beards, you understand. It's like having a small child with you all the time when you eat. You gotta clean up after it. And wipe all the grease off and make sure it smells good. Dude, this is legit. I got it like pretty dang warm. This made the marshmallow like real gooey and good. Go buy one of these machines. Mm-hmm. 
Literally, Sharper image. Literally. S'mores maker. At like Walgreens, it was like. It was like 20 bucks. They usually sell them during Christmas time, so sorry. Yeah. But. Well. Five out of five. Would recommend. Mm hmm. Very, very good. So. It makes me want to roast other things. Other things on here. Like fruit and stuff. Yeah. But short video because I'm the one who edits them and I just wanted something easy because I have school. Yeah. And I've been doing school for a lot now. of hours. Yeah. For yesterday and today, so. So yeah, we're just gonna take kind of easy. Sorry about the shorter video. I mean, it's nice for you guys because you can just sit down on your lunch break and watch our video in like five, ten minutes. So that's kind of cool. Instead of being like those longer half an hour ones, we gotta mm -hmm. sit home and watch it. So, but thank you so much again for joining us. Thank you for joining us for dinner and our dessert. Hopefully everything is going good on your end. Hopefully everybody's happy, healthy, and loved. We all love you. Hopefully you all love us. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get some email notifications. Please let all of your friends and family know about us. We'd really appreciate it. I'm really trying to make this YouTube channel take off so we can provide more content for you. Go on vacations, film it, you know, do reviews, product reviews, movie reviews, everything. Yeah. Um, so please help us, support us. We're here for you. Comment. Let it, Give us ideas. Give us suggestions on what you want to do. So hit like, subscribe. Thank you for joining Adventures with the Allen. Again, my name is Sam. This is the beautiful Madison, and you'll have a wonderful day. Thank you.